What? What, what, what? What the hell is this? Harumph, 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 harumph. I didn't get a harumph out of that guy. Give the governor harumph. Harumph. You watch your ass. I see you shiver with anticipation. Let the show begin. Hey, hey, everybody, this is David Heretic coming at you with another edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. And tonight. Tonight! All right, we're coming back to Radiohead. Yes, indeed. Radiohead fans, feeling you. Come on now. Here we go. Before we go any further, for those of you who are feeling inclined to doing all of the clicks and the likes and the bibbity bibbity bop, do me a favor before you do all that stuff. Please watch the whole video first, okay? Give me a chance to actually earn those clicks and likes. Now, after the video's done, if you still feel like doing all those clicks and likes, then by all means, feel free to click away. This comes as a request from Archdemon, and Archdemon wanted to see me react to this song by Radiohead called Karma Police. Now, have I heard the song before? No, I have not. To the best of my knowledge, this does not resonate with me in any way, shape, or form. However, there's always a possibility I may have heard the song in passing and I just don't realize it. So as always, if I start listening to the song and I suddenly go, wait a second, this sounds really familiar. I'll let you know. That's the truth. You know me, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This was posted by Radiohead, shocking, and the video has 84.3 million views. It'll get you there. Other than that, there's really nothing else left to say. Link to the original video will be down below in the video description for your viewing pleasure at your leisure. Let's get started. What do you say? Are you ready? Are you ready? Because here we go. All right, here we go. Radiohead, Karma Police. Short, sweet, and to the point. All right, let's do this. All right, boy, let's do this! Let me just double check that. Hold on. Excuse me while I whip this out. <laughs> All right, let's see if I'm right about that. I, I, I think it's A to the D to the G, I think. Let's let's rewind a little bit here. Right. Here we go. 
Andrej. Okay, one more time. And now to the transition to the C. Okay. So this section here to the D to the G. It that was right. Does it go to the B? Hold on a second. No, it's C. So. To the A. Okay, so transition from the G to the F sharp to the C to the B to the A. And then up to the D, again, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, well, you do get to the D, but by way of B. So you put it all together. And then we go to the C now for the for the chorus. Um, it's a nice transition. It is. I mean, the the main riff it, within the verse, the A to the F to the E to the G. That makes sense. That feels good. But I like that section, that transition. I guess you, for lack of a better word, you could call it the pre-chorus. I like that. It's nice. It's really nice. Um, it's it it's different. It goes in some directions I wasn't expecting. Like, for example, the the going from the G to the F sharp. It feels natural from there to go to the E. Maybe to the C from there, but instead they jump. And you get to the C a little ahead of schedule to get to the A. That's that's nice. It's really nice. Now that I, the more I think about it, the more I like it. It's definitely different. That's for sure. Um, let's keep going here.
other than the ending, I was actually kind of enjoying that. Um, hmm. I know I wasn't a fan of the ending. I, I know that. Uh, the rest of the song... I don't know. I... There were some aspects I definitely enjoyed. Um, I don't know. I got I to gotta kind of take everything into account here. So let me get my thoughts together. I'll see you in the review, and we'll talk about it. Well, there you go, folks. That was Radiohead with Karma Police. This was a request from Archdemon. Okay. Um. Let's just get to the score. Let, let's just get to the score and... I think everything will be pretty much self-explanatory from there. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give that a 7.7. .7. Yep, 7.7. .7. I feel good about that score. Let me tell you why. Why? Okay, first things first. 7.7. .7. What does that mean? Well... A 7.7 .7 would translate to a really good skill rating, so I think overall this was a really good song. It would get four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. So there you go, a 7.7, .7, really good skill rating, four to five stars and a B plus letter grade. Now, how did I come up with that score? <laughs> so glad you asked. Okay, was there anything particularly impressive about the song? I wouldn't go that far. There, I, I will say there were some interesting things that they were doing with their chordal progression. But there's a big difference between having something that's interesting and having something that's impressive, okay? It was interesting. I will absolutely give it that. They, they took their chordal progression in directions that I really didn't see coming, but everything they did made sense and everything they did sounded good. Their main progression, the, the, the main, the main uh, chordal progression that they were doing during the verse, the A down to the F, to the E, to the G. Okay, I mean, we've heard that before. One, down to the six, down to the five, up to the seven. Nothing all that uncommon, especially when concerning the fact that we're in a minor key. So, you know, one, flat six, five, flat seven, one, flat six, five, flat seven, one. Very typical. Now, the transition though, when they would, for lack of a better word, let, let's call it the pre-course. The A, up to the D, up to the G. Now I've heard that before many times. That that's a very typical thing, a very a very typical uh, chordal progression to follow. A up to the D up to the G down to the C. That I didn't see coming. I probably should have, but I I, I didn't see that one coming. To so the C as a transition to the B back to the A again. That I didn't see coming. That was different, and it sounded good. Um, I had no problem with it. it. It was it was definitely creative. Now, well, again, big difference between creative and interesting and mind blowing. Was my mind blown by that? No, it's it's not something I would say is impressive. I mean, it it it's very easy to follow along once you find it, once you see it. It's like, oh, that makes perfect sense, actually. You know, bam, da da bam, da da bam, da da bam, da da bam. You know, but it's not, I'm not going to say that my mind was blown by that because I've heard other bands do similar things. So it's, it's not, not mind blowing, but very well done. Nonetheless, um, the chordal progression in the chorus. Now that was interesting. Also, um, moving around the G quite a bit, starting with the C to the D to the G. So one, two, five back to the two as a transition, but that two ended up becoming a five of what came next, down to the G, up to the five, up to the six of the G, which would be the E in a E minor, which is the fifth of the A, which is what we were originally in, but we don't actually go to the A. Instead, we go back to the C again to repeat the same pattern. It becomes a loop. Um, again, not, nothing I would say mind blowing or impressive, but interesting, very interesting. Definitely kept my attention without question. Um, probably the strongest part about the song was the, the songwriting, the, the chordal progressions they came up with. 
I mean, we're in 4-4 the whole time. That that didn't change. Um, but it was definitely cool to see the transitions from the minor to the, you know, being in the A minor, transitioning up to the C major, which is perfectly normal considering the fact they're both in the exact same key. Um, the exact same numbers of sharps and flats, which are zero. Um, it, it was it was nice to see that. It was interesting to hear it. Um, and, and like I said, it flowed together really well. Uh, I had no issue with anything when it comes to the songwriting itself. Um, vocals, I think what, what Tom sang on this fit the song like a glove. His style of vocals fit this song like a glove. Um, as far as the energy level on the song, I mean, there was there was a definite tempo. I mean, I, I wouldn't say I was loving the drive or the energy of the song. It was very laid back. Um, not my usual cup of tea by stretch. And if I'm being honest here, I'm probably never going to listen to this song again. Um, it's just, it's not my thing. It's not my bag. It's not my jam. But at the same time, uh, looking at the song objectively, they didn't do anything wrong. So... It's just, it's just personal taste. But overall, though, I, I think that really good score of 7.7 is definitely deserved. Not going to lie, I had this up at a 7.8. I did. But that ending. Ah, uh, that ending. <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it, man. Why? Why? Why Why? Why the need to do that kind of stuff? I, I just don't understand it. But, um, yeah, it, that was not pleasing to the ear at all. They, uh, not 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 from my point of view i was just like nah, that it number one did it, did it add to the song no <laughs> it detracted from the song if anything so i did take it from a 7.8 down to a 7.7 .7 because of that cacophonous noise at the end it just didn't make any sense it was not necessary so i i, I did deduct a tenth of a point now did that change anything no it's even if i was at a 7.8 it still would have gotten a really good score it still would have gotten four to five stars and it still would have been a b plus letter grade so is there really any difference between a 7.8 and a 7.7 .7? not really a tenth of a point and i know there's gonna be people who are gonna be upset over that too bad I, I i don't know what to tell you man if you're gonna get upset over a tenth of a point that that's your hang up not mine anyway 7.7 .7, i feel good about that score that's exactly where we need to be with this song and that's where we're gonna stay so let's wrap everything up here in a nice shiny bow shall we we got a 7.7, .7, which is a really good scale rating, four to five stars, and a B plus letter grade. Take your pick, I don't care, whichever one of those floats your boat. Final word, final score, I have spoken. Well, that's gonna do it for this edition of Reactions, Reviews, and Rants. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Hope that was able to entertain you. If I was able to put a smile on your face and brighten your day, then I did my job, and I'm so glad I could do it. If you guys feel like joining the fan base, go ahead and click on that button down there. If you guys want to like the video, go ahead and like the video. If you guys want to ring the bell, go ahead and ring the bell. It honestly doesn't make any difference at all to me, but if you guys feel like doing these things, well then by all means, feel free to do so. Well, that's going to do it for the night, folks. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, this is David Heretic signing off, reminding you to stay fabulous and support each other. Later. Peace.